are we on? Yes, we're on. Okay, awesome. How are you guys doing? I am Enrique, and I'm with Heartfelt Creations, and what I'm going to be doing today is this Sweet Magnolia. If you take a look right over here, this is the Sweet Magnolia, and it's a five-piece set, and this is one stamp out of the five. So I'll quickly add some color, adding color to my stamp. Very quick, very easy. Then I'll use my deluxe card shaping paper and I'll just press the image into the paper. I want to use a little bit of pressure because I want that image to come out very clear and very clean. One thing you'll find with our heartfelt creation stamps is that the quality of the image is very good. I don't know if you've gotten a bad stamp before and your image just isn't quite that good. You won't have to worry about that. So now I'm just lining up the coordinating die. Just line it up real fast, real easy. There we go. And now I'll run it through my machine. I'm using the um, Vagabond. It's a very common machine. You love that machine? Okay, awesome. So I just run it through and then bring it back. I like the reverse there. And then here we go. We have our stamped image. Very nice. Very easy, very fast. And now what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of color. I'm using a vivid chartreuse to color the center there really quick. Nothing really too fancy just a quick bit of color and now I'll use the mulberry to color the leaves and this technique is just meant to add color quickly you could of course color as intricate as you'd like for me this seems to work the best I am NOT a very good colorer I remember in second grade I would not stay in the lines <laughs> And that's okay, we don't have to stay in the lines, we're grown now. Now what I'll do is I'll use our shaping mold. This is something that Heartfelt invented. This is one of our own inventions. We'll just add this into there and I'm gonna add a couple leaves just to have a little bit of fun. Leaves are fun, except for in the fall. <laughs> and then, true. that is true, right? Now I'm adding a little bit of spritz and this spritz is all this is is water and if you've uh, shaped flowers before you'll know about the water. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Awesome. I'm just making a quick flower. This is a sweet magnolia. I'm on the shaping step. Do you shape flowers? No. Okay. Awesome. You don't preach? Uh -oh. <laughs> Got a mic malfunction. Can you hear me? One, two, three. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll just pass it through the machine here. Very quick and very easy. Bring it back. So if you've uh, shaped flowers before in the past, how about you ladies? Have you shaped flowers? No. Okay, awesome. This is great. So this mold will shape it for you. And it comes out. And if you'd like to... See that has great texture yeah. and even the leaves. You can pass it that way. Do you use it like some certain type of paper? This is a deluxe flower shaping paper. It's a little sturdier than your regular cardstock. Okay. It's a uh, hundred pounds rather than 80. And what it's meant to do is to not crack. I don't know if you've had paper before and you've tried to crease it and it just cracks. Yeah. This will avoid that. This paper avoids that. So now that we have it shaped, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add a stamen into the middle. What kind of stamen are you using? These are the bridal stamens. Okay. Now the bridal stamens are a um, pearl, all white. all white or pearl color. And these I just took the mulberry and I've colored them. So that's very easy. And I use my paper piercer and I'll just 
put a small hole in the middle and push up on it so that it gets a little bit larger just enough to fit my stamens through and I'll put my stamens through and then I'll just give it a little tug and there we go we have a flower with a stamen center very quick very easy then I'll add the second one but on this one I want to add a little bit of hot glue just so it stays in place and I'll do the same thing, I'll just pull it through, offset it just a little bit so that it's a full flower. Very quick, very easy. And then with the leaves, I'll just add the leaves into the side here. Just add a little bit of glue here and then I'll overlap, overlap our leaf. Add a little bit more glue and then I'll just assemble this real quick. There we go. That was very easy for me. And that's something I really appreciate how easy it is. And now what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of glitter. And I'm using a dry clear glue. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yeah, okay, awesome. So this is an instruct industrial strength glue. It holds papers together very well and it holds the glitter in place, which is awesome. And I call this the Pac-Man technique. I got my little Pac-Man here and all I'll do is just pinch the, pinch the edges. Just go around and pinch. I don't know if you have any uh, rowdy kids at the house, but when I was a rowdy kid, I used to get pinched all the time. No, I'm just joking. And then we'll just dip it in here. And instead of dumping the glitter on top of the flower, I like to dip it into the glitter itself. And there we go. Very quick, very easy. And that glue will dry clear, as you see here on these. It's awesome, isn't it? So easy, so quick. And of course, you're more than welcome to pick out any individual piece that you'd like. Or what most of our crafters do, they like to pick out from the Deluxe Show Special, which is four stamps and four dies. And if you do that, you get $50 off that way. So how do you think that went, Yuli? That was great. Thank you so much for doing this video for Craft Deal some more. Hey, no problem. Everybody's going to love it. So thank you again. All right. Hey, okay, bye, guys. Bye.